Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel today. A simple solution to a common problem, especially when you have installed the Shadow NanoFlex pickup. I find that they, they're a very good sounding pickup. As piezoelectric pickups go, they're, they really are very good. But they have one Achilles heel and that is your mains hum that comes through when you've got the guitar plugged in. But this is a very simple and elegant solution. What I have is a piece of copper tape. It's got a sticky back so you can stick it on. And I have soldered on a wire. You can say to the bottom right hand corner of the tape. And on the other side I have a crocodile clip. Which means that I can install this thing in the guitar and clip the crocodile clip to the shielding of the pickup wire that goes back. And I'll clip it right at the end pin jack, so it's out of the way. And of course this can be demodified very simply because this uh, tape can be peeled away from the bridge plate. So now what I'm going to be doing is removing the strings, take out the bridge pins, take the strings out of the way. And then this is going to be installed underneath in this orientation under the bridge. And then I'm going to poke some holes through, which is going to allow the strings to ground on the copper tape and then ground the strings to the end pin jack. Now I've done this on several guitars and it works fantastically. I, I can only recommend this. Uh, even if you're, it's not the Shadow Nanoflex, a lot of these pickups do tend to have a 50 cycle hum or 60 cycle hum if you're in the States. And this is a really good, elegant and non-invasive solution. So this is going into my D35, and uh, we'll have a sound check after that. So if you stick around, you'll see how it goes. All right, so the strings are out, bridge is out. The piezo is inside the saddle slot. You can bear, you can just faintly see the writing on the piezoelectric. And this is one of those that doesn't have the metal foil, which would do the job of eliminating the hum. This one's not surrounded by the metal foil, but... Anyway, this is going to fix the problem. So there it is. It's set up. I'm going to peel this piece back halfway so I can align correctly. And then once it's aligned, I'll stick down the sticky side and then peel the rest off. And we'll see how that goes. Here we are. We've peeled it. I've peeled it halfway back. And this is the side that's going to be used to align. And then once that's aligned, I'll see it through the holes at the top there. And unfortunately, I can't film and shoot because I'm shooting this with my phone. But what, that's what you're going to see is uh, you'll line this back line up, that white. I'm going to line it up with the corner there so that it's fully covered. And I'm, the other thing I'm going to try and do is uh, I'm going to try to get this edge of the tape underneath the bridge here as far forward as possible so that it also provides a bit of shielding uh, under the pickup itself and uh, I find I get really good results when I do that so let's see how that turns out all right uh, it's in took a few maneuvers to get it perfectly aligned and I've tried to bring as much light to the guitar as I can you can see the copper is still now nicely covering each hole it's as far forward as I can get it but covering all the holes so that now I'm going to I'm going to pierce them from underneath with a sharp stick and let the copper ride up inside of each channel for the bridge pins and that way each string will ground itself to the copper and that will be grounded to the end pin and voila no more noise so let's get a check out at the finished product all right so I broke the the the, the copper tape with a, sh a sharp screw you could use a nail and then afterwards I came from underneath with the uh, bridge pin from underneath and then squeezed and flared out the copper tape inside the hole here to ensure the best possibility of getting a good ground on each string. So now it's time to put everything back. And there she is all back together again. Looking beautiful. It's time for the test. So let's get to an amplifier and check it out. Uh, it's not well tuned, so I'm going to have to try and retune it before I play it. But the important part of the test will be the noise. So hold on, let's have a look. All right, so 
we're in the guitar strumming room there's the amp and I just want to be quiet for a second so you can get sort of a baseline no noise level because of course there's all sorts of ambient noise going on so hold on a sec let's be quiet for a moment now I'm going to turn on this amp and I know that it does have a bit of a noisy reverb I don't know if the phone is picking that up but there's a low frequency 50 cycle hum not particularly loud but it's noticeable when you turn the amp on all right so next check is with the guitar plugged in so hold on a sec right guitars plugged in and the hum level has increased very very slightly but nothing compared to before and now I'm not holding the guitar or grounding the strings because normally when you hold the guitar and ground the strings that will that noise will go away so now I'm, I'm gonna have to kind of set you up and she's really cool. in this room Thanks for watching.